AI are two really big buzzwords at the moment, but does anybody actually know what they mean and what you can do with them? And do you need to be uh, like a really geeky developer to kind of get the most value out of them and to get started with them? The answer to all of that is no. You don't need to be a developer to start writing bots and to start leveraging some of the power of artificial intelligence. My name is Tom Morgan. I'm a Microsoft MVP. And if you've got 10 minutes to watch this video now, I will show you how you can build a bot using AI to answer questions about your subject matter experience and embed it into your web page. The type of bot we're going to build today is an FAQ bot. So that's a bot that answers your questions, works out uh, what you're trying to ask it and answers them quickly for you. In order to do that, we need some data. We need the actual questions and you can start from scratch. Uh, but it's, it's kind of easier if you've got a, a bunch of questions already and typically you've got those somewhere on a web page uh, You've got them written down somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to use this as my example um, So if you've been following my other blog posts and videos, you'll know I'm massively into Ubiquiti gear So this is an FAQ page from one of Ubiquiti pages about Emacs I don't know anything about Emacs, but this is an FAQ page and it's a kind of a standard for an FAQ page It doesn't have to be in any particular format. and We're going to use this um, to drive our information and to drive our bot. We're going to do all of this without writing any code. Uh, so you don't need to be a developer to do this. Anyone can do this. So there's three steps you need to go through. The first is to set up your knowledge base of questions and answers. The second is to build your bot. And the third is to connect your knowledge base to your bot and open it up to different channels so people can use it. So let's do step one. We have our FAQs here on the page. And what we need to do now is turn that into a knowledge base. To do that, we're going to use Q&A Maker. Q&A Maker is provided free by Microsoft. Uh, it's a great way of uh, building artificial intelligence without needing to know how to build artificial intelligence. So to start, I'm going to go to Q&A Maker.ai and I'm going to log in and it's going to take me here to my services. So I'm going to click on create new service. And then once it loads, the first thing it's going to ask me is the name and then also any the URL of a knowledge base to search. So I'm just going to call this uh, my test demo service. And then I'm going to take this URL here and I'm just going to drop it into here. Now, if I don't have one of these, it doesn't matter. I could upload a PDF, I could up upload a doc file. I could just start from scratch. It's kind of easier though, because if I do specify uh, an FAQ, URL, it's just going to read that URL and then it's going to build up some questions and answer pairs. So I'll go ahead and click create and it'll uh, think about it for a minute. And then what it's going to present me is a whole list of question and answer pairs. All right, so see here how it's pulled apart the questions and the answers from the web page. Um, so that's pretty clever in itself. I can go through here, I can make some changes, I can tidy this up, I can look at these new line breaks here and say, actually, I'm just going to take those out, they're not needed. Um, I can go and add new questions in. I can fix up the answers if they're not quite correct. And then when I'm ready, I can click Save and Retrain. The important thing to know here is that this isn't just a list of questions and answers. There's artificial intelligence in this as well. So what that means is you haven't got to be really clever about trying to work out ahead of time exactly what questions people are going to answer, uh, what, what they're going to ask and what they're going to need answered. Um, you just need to get roughly in the right ballpark. So now that's finished, I can look down here and I can see this question here uh, that's come from the FAQ page of what is Air Select. Now I can go and test this. It might be though that users won't say what is Air Select. They, you know, they, they might not be that kind of uh, polite. They might just kind of say, tell me about Air Select. Okay, so in this case, the AI is clever enough to know that what you mean is the same thing and it will just serve you up the right answer. And that's hugely powerful just by itself. Once you've put together your questions and your answers and you're ready, and you can always go back and change these later on uh, if you need to and change them and evolve them over time. But let's go ahead and click publish. I get a chance to review the uh, Q&A pairs that I'm adding and any editorials I've made. And when I'm ready, I'll click publish again. And what that's done is it's generated me an API endpoint. Now, if you are a developer, if you're a, kind of a, an IT pro and you understand this stuff, it's an API endpoint, you can hit it, any HTTP request, you, so you can embed this into PowerShell, um, you can embed this into a ton of different places and use it as a way of working out what people are saying. If you're not a developer, 
Don't worry about any of that that I just said, but we'll keep this on the screen for now because we're, we're going to come back to it. That's step one done. Step two is building out our bots. And to do that, we're going to use Azure. So over here, I'm in Azure and I'm going to click create a resource and I'm going to search for web app bot. And I'm going to choose this one here, the web app bot provided by Microsoft. And I'm going to click create. And what this is going to do is spin me up a bot instance in Azure. There's a couple of things I need to fill in. So I need to pick um, a good name. So I'm just going to make something up. Stick it in a resource group. So if you're familiar with Azure, all this will make kind of sense to you. The important thing I'm going to do here is under where it says bot template, I'm going to click that and I'm going to choose a different template from the basic one. I'm going to choose the question and answer template. And then I'm going to click create. So again, nothing I've done here is very complicated. I'm just walking through the creation wizard and allowing Azure to create a web app bot into my tenant. Once that's created, I can go and view it and jump straight to it. And you see there's a number of different settings down the side here. The one I'm going to jump to is testing web chat because what we have now is a fully working bot that we've just built ourselves in Azure without needing to write any code at all. And there's a test window here that I can use to talk to it. When I do talk to it, however, what you're going to find is that it doesn't actually know what I'm talking about. There's a missing step because we haven't told our bot here about our question and answer pairs that we made in Q&A Maker. And we're going to do that in the final step. So in step three, what we, what we first thing we need to do is to join together the web bot that we built in Azure with the Q&A Maker pairs that we built in Q&A Maker. The way to do that in Azure here, we need to go to application settings. So if I scroll down to the application settings, you can see there's two values here, the Q&A knowledge base ID and the Q&A subscription fee. So what you need to do is to go back to your Q&A Maker instance here and notice that there's two uh, ID values here. So this first one that we're going to take here that's on the HTTP line, we're going to go and paste that into the knowledge base ID. And then the second one that's uh, with OCP APIM subscription key, we're going to copy that and paste that into the Q&A subscription key value here. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to come back to Q&A Maker and make a change just to show you how easy it is to update these questions and answers on the fly. So I'm just going to change the answer here. When you say hi, I'm just going to say hello. Uh, from the demo FAQ bot. And I'm going to just click publish again and just republish that information straight away and it'll just take a second or so and then it's completely republished. And we can actually try that now. So if we now come back to the test window in Azure and say hi, now you can see the personalized hello message. And we can also go back and we can uh, look down our list of Q&A pairs uh, if we want to that we've, we've got and pick up some other questions to ask. Uh, so we can ask, for instance, this whole question here around different vans. And what we'll get back is you know, a really nicely formatted answer that is very specific to the exact question we're answering. So that's great. So now we've joined the bot and the Q&A together. Um, we have a working frequently asked questions bot that is both intelligent. We can update over time. But the last thing to do is to make it accessible to everyone. And that's done by opening it up to one or more different channels. So channels are listed here uh, on the in, in Azure. And you can see there's a number of different channels listed here. And by default, the web chat one is already added. We can easily add other ones such as Teams or Skype for Business, but also things like Slack, Telegram. We can even add it for SMS via Twilio, 
even email. Um, I'm going to concentrate on the web chat one for a second because it is super easy and it's already set up. So if I click um, edit, I have some secret keys and I also have an iframe. And it's really simple if you do any web development, if you know anything about web development, you can literally drop this into an iframe. So I'll give you a really quick example. I have a hello world page here. It's just completely plain HTML. Um, and I can just drop this iframe in. Uh, and I need a secret key here, which is one of these. So I can show you this. And just copy that and come back and drop it in like this. Just like that. And I can just go ahead and publish that to Azure. And now I have inside my website, I have a intelligent machine learning enabled bot that lives on my web page that can answer questions. So I hope this has shown you how easy it is to create bots that can be linked to FAQs and can be smart and answer sensible questions. Uh, and you can do it all without needing to be a developer. You can do it all without writing a line of code. Hope that's been useful. Uh, if so, have a look at some of the other videos I'm doing on YouTube or follow me on Twitter. Thanks very much.